The next thing we're going to look at are client tasks. As you can see, uh, there are uh, most of the client tasks that you'll need to use have already been provided. Uh, you have the ability to create any other tasks that you wish to. The uh, first type of tasks are install and uninstalling the various McAfee products, and you'll see those here. And then there are uh, update uh, tasks to update DATS, to update virus scan and the scan engine. And then we've also provided um, some scan tasks, a scheduled on-demand scan, and an on-demand scan at startup. As you look across, um, you'll be able to see, um, much like policies, um, you'll see that they're enabled, you'll see when they're next scheduled to run, and like policies, you'll see uh, where the policies um, may not be inherited, and you can reset the inheritance in the same way. One difference between policies is that you have the ability to edit these basic uh, tasks that we've provided. When you edit those tasks, they will only apply to that group or individual system that you are um, editing. So if you want to change the task just for your servers, navigate to the server area, and then you're going to edit the tasks. So let's take a look at the install virus scan. The way you will edit it is by simply unchecking the task and schedule settings. You can navigate either with the top blue bars or with the next button. Configuration, very simple options here. Um, in most cases, you won't want to change that. What you may want to change is when the task runs. Um, under the schedule, you will enable or disable the task. And then you can choose um, the different options of when to run it. Most of them are fairly self-explanatory. Um, if you choose a scheduled task like weekly, um, you can choose um, a little more detail down here. Um, you can repeat during a certain time period and a certain interval, or you can repeat starting at with an interval. In the weekly case, you can choose a specific day, etc., etc. Um, when we set up your groups, um, you'll see most of the install tasks by default are scheduled to run immediately. Uh, we're assuming that in the test mode when you're installing, um, you'd like to have the stuff installed immediately. Uh, once you're finished testing and ready to go into a more production environment, you may want to leave them the same or you may want to ch change it to a more scheduled basis. Um, remember that these tasks only take effect after the McAfee agent is installed on your machine. Um, we'll go over that uh, next. Um, once the agent is installed, it communicates back to the EPO server and gathers both the policies and tasks, copies those local to the machine, and then it will start executing those tasks and enforcing the policies that it's copied. Um, I'll also show you the update task for the DATS. That's obviously a very important thing that's done daily. Our default task is um, set to run every four hours and it's randomized over 15, 15 minutes. Um, this means that um, at the four hour mark if you have a hundred machines they will not all at the same time start downloading the DATS. They'll randomize it over 15 minutes. This has worked um, very well for most locations understanding you have people coming in at all times, particularly on the desktop side. You may want to have a different schedule on the server side. Um, again, you can edit these policies directly rather than having to create your own. You can, however, go down here to new task and create the uh, task. You'll have different types of, of tasks. Um, right now, the main ones we have are update, product deployment, and the on-demand scans. There are also other tasks for wake-ups, um, restore from quarantine, and some advanced sections uh, functions should you want to do that. Um, I also wanted to show you that you have the option for uh, full on-demand scans. Um, 
and you can schedule that. We recommend running those weekly. Um, and you can also have the scan run at startup. Um, I also recommend that uh, enabling that to run at startup. That's the basics for your client tasks. Take a look at them, understand them. Uh, remember, we have the Site Advisor, which is the browser plugin. We also have tasks for Macs. Um, the System Center System Compliance Profiler is an old product that's being phased out. And that's it. And the last thing I wanted to show you is that just like with policies, you're able to mo modify tasks on a single system in the same manner. Check your system, go down to the bottom menu, and then you're going to select Modify Tasks on a single system. Again, it pulls up that uh, same kind of menu, and you can edit. And so, for example, if you want to um, remove virus scan, then you're going to edit here and disable the um, install task. Hit save. And then you're going to the uninstall virus scan 7. And then you would enable that. And that's how you do it. Okay. So that's it.